it's got to be the secondary. I mean, just just looking at Georgia from the perspective of they've got so many things to replace there, and and Clemson feeling confident in their receiving core, especially with Justin Ross returning. If if he returns to the Justin Ross form that, that every college football fan knew and and the defensive coordinators feared, that's that's a troublesome you know, thought for Georgia. And and you know, ironically, you're probably going to see. Darian Kendrick, former Clemson player, guarding George, you know, Clemson's top player, uh, and and so you know that would be a great matchup to see a, a Kendrick and Ross battle, uh, you know, one that I'm sure that they had many a times in practice. Um, you know, I, I, I think so. That's that's where I would look uh, as as a big matchup. Another one that I would that I would look at would be along when Georgia's on offense and and they've you know got to go up against this incredible. Clemson defensive line. I think any team has, should be concerned about going up against Clemson's defensive line. Uh, you know, regardless of whether it's the first game and you're replacing starters or you've got one of the strongest units in the country, I, I think Georgia can have one of the strongest units in the country. They've they've got the guys, they've got the talent to, to replace the guys that they uh, that they're replacing. They're replacing Trey Hill at center. Well, like I said earlier, Cedric Van Fran appears to be the front runner, front runner there. And he's the former number one ranked center in the country for his signing class. Uh, they're replacing Ben Cleveland at right guard, uh, and and you know potentially have the ability to put Justin Schaefer uh, at right guard, someone who started ten games last season, nine at left guard and one at right guard, and Jamari Salyer at left guard uh, instead of left tackle, someone who started nine games at left tackle and one at left guard. Um, you know that that would be one great way to replace him. In, in that scenario, though, you're looking at that left tackle position potentially being a weakness, potentially being a question mark. Uh, and, and I don't think that's what you want going up against this Clemson defensive line. I know that's not what you want going up against this Clemson defensive line. So you're probably going to see Jamari Salyer at left tackle, uh, you know, a, a guy that has played the position that they feel confident in. It's been battle tested, whether it was against Alabama or, um, you know, the – Florida, the rest of an SEC schedule, uh, Salyer at left tackle is probably Georgia's best bet there, which would mean Justin Schaefer plays left guard. Uh, like I said, Van Peran probably at center. And then Tate Ratledge at right guard. You know, someone that – a guy that has been – if if Justin Schaefer plays right guard and, and Ratledge is not in the starting lineup, those two will be rotating. Uh, if, if Ratledge if, – if, excuse me, if Schaefer plays left guard with Salyer at left tackle – Ratledge is going to be the right guard. And so, you know, it's, it's almost, you know, he's a, he could be the sixth man. He could be one of the starting five. Um, and, and that kind of depends on, you know, where Jamari Salyer falls. Uh, but Ratledge being the former, you know, a top three offensive tackle uh, in his signing class, uh, you know, has, has moved inside to guard and, and found, you know, to be, you know, a very strong threat there, um, you know, for Georgia. I think he's another great guy. And then at right tackle, you feel very confident with what you've gotten. Warren McClendon started nine games for them last season. The, the last nine, uh, they were they were working that position out and, and really found an answer with McClendon, who ended up earning freshman All American honors uh, as a redshirt freshman last season. So I, I think I don't know that that's necessarily a concern for Georgia as much as it is an interesting matchup to watch because of what Clemson brings defensively. But uh, you know, there, there's really if you're if you're Georgia, there's no better way to prepare for that than going up against the defensive line that they are every day in practice. Because you know, if if Clemson's the number one defensive line in the country, I really do think that Georgia has the number two. And and you know, and I think this game is you could potentially, depending on how those two units play, you could make a case for you know Georgia to potentially have the best defensive line in the country with what they bring back in Jordan Davis, with what they bring back in Devontae Wyatt. Uh, with the guys that are stepping into larger roles in Trayvon Walker and Jalen Carter, that top four is one of the best in the country. And, and you know, like I said, it may not be the best because of what Clemson's got, but if you're, if you're going to be tested week one against that Clemson defensive line, there's no better way to prepare for that than what Georgia's got going against them every day in practice.